My name is Jenny Cook and I'm a consultant psychiatrist in the Sussex Partnership Perinatal Mental Health Service. Um, throughout my training I was interested in perinatal mental health but at that time the specialist teams didn't really exist. As a registrar I did a special interest uh, session at one of the London uh, hospitals, St Thomas's and their perinatal team. It was during that time that I uh, began thinking about why we didn't have specialist services here in Brighton or across Sussex. Um, and started to do a little bit of work with one of the commissioners of Brighton & Hove who was interested in perinatal mental health. Then when I got my first consultant job in Brighton & Hove, I carried on with that special interest, just a small one session a week, uh, working with the obstetrician. Um, but I managed to continue to work with the commissioners to guess make the case for uh, developing a specialist service here in Brighton. We gradually uh, grew that service, um, got more funding, more of my time and, and some nursing time until it became uh, a service big enough uh, for me to work in it uh, six sessions, so three days a week. So at that point I transferred from my inpatient role to purely doing perinatal. For me, I think a good leader is someone that um, I respect because they know what they're doing, they're sort of an expert in their field. And as well as that though, I think a good leader needs to be somebody that you know, they're likeable, they respect others that they work with, they listen to others that they work with, they're not too domineering and they are willing to, to listen, they don't take decisions without consulting other people, but then you know, at times when things are difficult they are willing to step forward to make the difficult decisions that need making, making at those times. I suppose for women particularly, one of the things um, is feeling confident that you're as good as anybody else and your opinion counts as much as anybody else's. I think I've certainly been in those meetings in a room full of, um, of men. You have a, a, feel, a slight feeling of not quite having the knowledge or the experience or the skills to really contribute to the discussion and not having faith that, that you know, what you have to say um, would be counted. It's something about having confidence that you have expertise in your own right, in your own field, and, and not being afraid to, to voice opinions um, and not being afraid of being shouted down. I think also, particularly for, for women, um, the issue of juggling working, um, perhaps part-time, with uh, you know, bringing up a family, with having a leadership role. So this can be a thing that if you're working part-time, you're just not going to have the time to take on any leadership and that that will just be too much. And actually, I'd probably say that that's not necessarily the case. Um, and it's all about having understanding managers um, and perhaps role models of women in leadership positions who have actually done that uh, to show that it is possible to have a, a sort of work-life balance that's compatible with having a family life but also taking on sort of leadership roles. As a trainee there were certainly women uh, consultants that I worked for at the time. Um, I remember Denise Bound who was the, a consultant on Pavilion Board, the inpatient PQ here in Brighton and she was always a fantastic example of a woman who'd managed to juggle having a career with family. She had four children I think. Um, I sort of admired the way she worked and uh, how committed she was to her work but how she'd managed to find that sort of work-life balance and I remember finding that quite inspiring. The other woman that I sort of worked with over the years has been Sam Allen, who's now our, our CEO. And, and again, Sam was a good example of someone who really championed um, the cause for, for women in, in leadership. Somebody who really did have that confidence. And that, again, that's kind of quite inspiring to me. I remember uh, I was applying for my first consultant job and wanted to apply a, a job share. Uh, and a colleague of mine who also had small children, we decided that we, we'd try and apply together for this job. And I remember Sam giving us some really good advice about how to do that, selling, selling ourselves as a job share and how to do it in a really professional way. And both my colleague and I had a sort of prepared speech about why, uh, you know, for the trust, having us as a job share would be better than just having one consultant in the post and what we would bring and how, you know, they'd have added value. And I remember Sam being um, a real inspiration to us to actually go ahead and do that. And, and we got the job. And, you know, I think that really gave me faith that our trust was really keen to champion women in, in leadership roles and, and was not going to let traditional barriers that women face, you know, get in the way. Really give me faith that our trust is very supportive of women. Yeah.